All right, we just spent the night here in uh, Myrtle Campground. It's uh, about 15 minutes out of Launceston. Um, so we drove about two and a half hours um, from the Bay, Bay of Fires. Yeah. yeah. Um, through a, a ton of cool areas, really windy roads through these thick forests. So we got here late last night and we made dinner and took a shower. They actually have really nice facilities around here. Over there they've got a kitchen. They have uh, really nice showers and bathrooms. The showers had hot water. Um, it's a huge open area, even though there's a ton of people here. Um, there really aren't that many people around you, just due to the fact of how massive this place is. This, we have our van parked right back here under this absolutely huge tree. The trunk's as big as our car, literally. Uh, getting closer to 11 in the morning, so we need to leave and continue our journey toward Cradle Mountain. Heads up, bring very strong mosquito repellent. <laughs> I've yeah, put some on and I've gotten she's destroyed. Gotten eaten alive. Right, we're here at Cataract Gorge in Launceston, and it's a nice little pinned out spot. There's a chairlift going across the gorge, this cool little suspension bridge, and they have a, a little pond here for swimming, and then a legitimate swimming pool over there. So, a cool spot. It was on everyone's must-see list for the city, so we, as we passed through, thought we'd stop by. So here we are, taking it all in. Essentially it's free, right? Yeah. We're just gonna walk around and enjoy the views. Okay. Thanks, man. So, we're here in the middle and it's a little bit shaky. You can, as everyone walks across it, it kind of swings. And then you get a better view of the whole hangout area. The river's spilling in. There's people sunbathing and swimming right here. So on our way to Cradle Mountain, we saw this sign along the freeway that said there were these caves about 30 minutes up this way. And Stacy looked them up and said they looked really cool. So we are we took the detour, headed off the freeway, and came up to these caves. So um, the cave tour that we're doing is called Maracupa Cave. That's the plan right now is to to do this wet cave and see the glowworms and, and all the different stuff inside. Headed into the cave, the tour is right about to start. Watch your head. down to see the blue worms. We got the cave stream right down below. We just got done with the cave tour. It was really cool seeing the glow worms. They didn't allow photography for when the lights were out um, in the glow the glow worm room. That's a tongue twister. Glow worm room. Let's try it. Glow wait what am I glow worm room. Room. Say Glow it as can. Okay. Okay, it's a tongue twister for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, we. it was cool. It was kind of like looking up at a, a starry sky. They weren't very big. They, they just looked like little stars up on the ceiling of the cave. Yeah. So yeah, that was cool to see. We'd never seen those before. And then the rest of the cave was a lot like other caves we've been into. And uh, now it's about four in the afternoon and we're gonna continue our trek on to Cradle Mountain. As we were driving by, we saw this little wombat on the side of the road and he's just eating some grass right here. Doesn't even have a care in the world. Wow, that's so cute. Yeah. 
can pet him. He doesn't even care. But we've made it to Cradle Mountain. Finally. Finally, it took a day and a half. This was supposed to be a good two or three days of our time here in Tasmania that we set aside to do all these awesome hikes here. And as you can see, rain. This is a boathouse, the famous Dove Lake uh, boat shed right here that we're at. And I guess it looks a little bit picturesque with the fog around it, but still That's not what ideal. We were going for. <laughs> so we were gonna hike up to Cradle Mountain Summit. That's like a four hour hike. There's a few other um, viewpoints and lookouts on top of these mountains that are one to two hours apiece that we were gonna hike. Um, yeah, so we had like five different hikes planned. They're all to like different outlooks and viewpoints and it's kind of pointless to hike up to a viewpoint to only see fog as we saw on Mount Wellington earlier this trip. Yep. So, uh, we're a little bummed. Yeah, it feels like this road trip has been cursed like a massive rain cloud just follows us and rains wherever we go. And if we leave here, it will follow us to our next destination, wherever it may be on the island. So, uh, I guess we're going to at least camp here the night. The weather changes really quickly, yeah. so we're going to wait it out. Yeah. See how tomorrow goes, and if it's not good, then we may change our plans and go back to Hobart, because now it's super sunny there, which was foggy and rainy when we first got here, but now it's good. So we may go back there if it's still bad tomorrow and maybe do like a Bruny Island cruise or something. I don't know. We'll see. We're still here in Cradle Mountain. We're at the beginning of the Overland Track. And all the wombats have apparently built their homes under this boardwalk that we're walking on. And they're just all over the place. They look like little, almost a hill of moss. These trees look so cool. They make it look like a tropical paradise here. I wish that were the case. They look like Probably. palm trees, but it doesn't feel like there should be any palm trees within a thousand miles of this place right now. Look at Stacy. She's bundled. She's ready to die. Yeah. We're the only ones out here too. There's people smarter than us, I guess, that are either knew there were storms gonna, that were going to be here or just in hiding. But we're the dumbasses walking around in these rainy, cold, wet conditions. Come here. Hoodie hoo! Here we are. It's the next day in Cradle Mountain. Um, after finishing that hike along the Wombat Path, we went and looked for a camp spot for about half an hour. And there's really no place to camp around here. There's like cabins and hotels, but no, um, really no tent camping or van camping. Which I find very odd. It is extremely odd. Instead, we had to park in the visitor center um, towards the very back in the overflow parking. We kind of hid behind. Yeah, we the just buses. went out as far as we could and hoped we wouldn't be discovered. And luckily, we weren't. We didn't have any problems, but still not ideal. Yeah, no. No showers, nothing like that, so. The cool thing about it, it has tons of wallabies. 
running around our yeah. band. So. Yeah, that was cool. cool. This place has wildlife absolutely everywhere. everywhere. But um, again, it, it rained pretty much all night long. When it wasn't pouring, it was at least drizzling. Um, just like it is now, it's not really raining hard. It's just a little, a light drizzle. But um, every 15 minutes or so, it will rain really hard for a few minutes and then go back to a mist. So it's just misting right now. And uh, the clouds are still all over the place. So we don't really want to do our big hike. the big hikes that we've had planned because they're all lookouts to have Cradle Mountain in the background for these really cool pictures, but it's not really cool to hike up to the top of the mountain and just have a cloud behind you, as we found out several times. So we're doing a few of the shorter hikes to waterfalls um, that we've looked up that we, we didn't initially plan on doing, but um, yeah, just get, knock them out. Um, at least see something while we're here. And then I think we may head out early um, and just move on to something else because uh, the weather's supposed to not only stay like this for the next couple days, but the forecast said it would snow. So we don't want to be anywhere near that. We didn't pack the right kind of clothes for that we stuff. <laughs> yep. So yeah, that's that's the dilemma that we're in right now. And it looks like this is the first waterfall on our hike, Pencil Falls. We're the only ones here. Here's the whole viewing platform. And the waterfall. That looks pretty cool with the forest right there. That kind of reminds me of that Korea. Yeah, so we're the only ones out here to enjoy it. The park has a lot of cars in the parking lot, but for the most part, it seems like everyone's just hanging out in the visitor center or eating at the restaurant. Not many people are out and about hiking, so yeah. Yep. Apparently, uh, apparently, <laughs> she looked it up and her eyes were open. And she said it was kind of weird for it to be very good. Yeah, and another thing that's interesting about this park is in order to get to the upper trails, you need to. Uh, to ride on a, a shuttle system. They make you park your car down in the parking lot and only after 6.30 at night can you drive your actual car up there. So if you're not done with your hike by 6 at night and your car's down in the parking lot, you're stranded up there. Yeah, we um, saw a couple of people yesterday that were yeah. walking all the way back to the It's a long walk. Yeah. And not moving. Yeah. But, Oh. So, yeah, I, I honestly, the this park I'm not the most impressed with, like facility wise and stuff. Yeah, they just, they don't have the infrastructure set up to handle. I don't know. It just doesn't seem very. Um, it, it's just not designed well. So. So definitely, we need to do much of that park. We heard, heard so much good stuff about this part that we decided to do most of our hikes here. So, I don't know. Grayson at the event. Definitely thought hikes was the big problem. Don't
we're back toward uh, Cradle Mountain um, on the Dove Lake Circuit. And we just finished that Night at Falls hike and that was really awesome. We got to see that echidna, which was really cool. And uh, the waterfalls were cool. Yeah, the waterfalls were awesome. And actually, Walk and really green. Yeah, it was it was really nice. We're we're really glad that we did that. And it's actually like really warm. <laughs> yeah, it's not very cold at all. Not really raining. No. So we decided to take the shuttle up and see if it would be clear weather in it. We're glad we did. It's actually a lot better. So we're still not gonna do the big hike up to the top because I still don't think I'd be able to see much, but. Just gonna do a fun little walk again that we did yesterday and yep. check it out and then probably head out, not stay another day like we originally planned. Since the weather doesn't seem like it'll get better. It's picked out pretty well. Yeah. It could have been better, but that's the story and we're sticking to it. <laughs> Back at the boathouse. And the sun is finally peeking out a little bit. And the clouds have at least cleared up and this area so it's not so bad and yeah we're really happy we came back up here we were almost contemplating just leaving but the views are a lot better than yesterday so we found another kid riding along the road he's a blacker one than the one we saw before All right, we're here in Mount Field National Park. We made the drive, it was a four hour drive last night from Cradle Mountain all the way here to Mount Field. And so the first two hours of the drive was just cloudy, rainy, really foggy, like you could only see a hundred feet in front of you. And then after two hours, it just all of a sudden cleared up. We hit this highland area with a bunch of lakes in it. And all of a sudden the clouds parted and for the next two hours of driving, it was just sunshine. So we found our way to the sun, it brightened our spirits. Yeah. And then as we got closer and closer to Mount Phil National Park, it's up in the, the mountains again. And the clouds were kind of sitting on it. But when we got here, um, it was actually pretty good weather last night, but we got here at about 8.15 and the sun sets at 8.30, so we didn't have enough time to do any hiking. We just found a campsite and camp for the night. Uh, they had really nice shower facilities. Yeah. Um, a really good area to camp. Oh, I'm not sure if that's rain or just the it's just the leaf shaking. The leaves. This morning get rained from 8 in the morning until about 10.30. So we just stayed in the van and the rain isn't supposed to come again for a few hours. Um, so we should be good for... Here we are at Russell Falls. First stop along the way. And this place looks awesome. Way more impressive than the pictures. I hope that the video can kind of capture how cool it is, but it's peered up all the way for a few hundred feet. Just these falls coming down. Mm -hmm. um, in the pictures, we only saw this lower fall part, but there's falls going all the way up there. Yeah, and it just awesome. looks so cool. So we're really happy we came and stopped by here. Yeah. So. We made it to Horseshoe Falls, and this was just like a 10 minute walk of Falls. We were more excited for this one, but it's not as impressive as Russell Falls was. Yeah. And then we're gonna head over to the Bonnerong Wildlife Sanctuary, and I'm excited for that. Hopefully, we get to pet some koalas or something. But we're heading out. Peace. Peace out, Girl Scout.